So since we were talking about Pokemon, we can kind of jump on this real quick and get you guys' opinion about this because I'm I'm curious on this one. So you guys know the latest Pokemon games came out, right? Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, right? So uh, I hear the game is a fucking mess. I hear the game is an absolute mess. I, I don't know. I, I didn't buy it yet because anytime I hear a game is glitchy and messy, I tend to hold off, you know? So I hear it's really, really, really glitchy. I hear it's really terrible um, in terms of like just overall, you know, it's just bad. But apparently, apparently the Japanese players are shunning this game and they're shunning it not because it's um, not because it's glitchy, not because it's broken, but because they feel that the game is uh, super woke. Now, I haven't read this article yet. I haven't, uh, you know, dive, I don't I don't read them until I go on stream or until I make a video because I like it to be as authentic as possible. Let me try to make this bigger. There we go. Try to get those fucking ads out the way. So from bounding into comics, right? It says Japanese Pokemon players claim the diverse NPCs, the lack of skirts in Scarlet and Violet prove that the series has gone woke. Now, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that one. Let's get into this. So it says, in the West, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet has gained massive popularity for its more diverse character options, but Japanese fans believe the changes set options are proof that the beloved RPG series has succumbed to wokeness. Now, I wonder how many Japanese fans actually said that. Because I know sometimes we're bounding into comics to get a little bit over the, you know, over the top, Right. But I wouldn't be surprised if small things like that definitely has made Japanese fans get turned off a little bit because they can start to see the Western influence on uh, on their own particular video games. And it also, not only that, if you remember, I made a video about um, Japanese companies saying that they need to embrace Western culture if they plan to uh, survive further, which I found to be really interesting. I found that to be really interesting that they all of a sudden need to embrace Western culture for them to survive i think that's kind of i think that's kind of ridiculous i don't think that's necessarily true i think that is uh i think that's a load of bullshit but it says ever since its november 18th release for the nintendo switch pokemon scarlet and Violet has had a rocky start well that's putting it lightly from various performance issues which i mentioned to glitches to the existence of an emergency save feature meant to be used to avoid progress loss due to a random crash wow that's pretty sad <laughs> that's like it it's like they knew their game was going to be shitty <laughs> and then they put an emergency save feature. That's great. The latest installment of the long running franchise has drawn the ire of players uh, from the world around. What the fuck is this? What the? What? Who? What? Holy shit. This is like the girl from. Uh, this is like the girl from uh, uh, Last of Us 2, bro. What, what the fuck was her name? Holy shit. That girl is buff, bro. That's a buff chick. That is a buff chick. I think I've seen this girl before. Excuse me, sir. There's a young man in here. Excuse me, it's ma'am. <laughs> I think I've seen this girl before. <laughs> that is Abby. Yeah, yeah, that's Abby. That's right, Zephyr. That's right, it's Abby. Bro, that is Abby all day. Oh, wow. That's a buff chick. Damn. Look at those shoulders, man. Puts me to shame. But yeah, I, I don't know. Um, I don't know to the level which this game is glitchy. Like, I, I hear it from everywhere. And when you have shill media sites like Kotaku and IGN writing about that, about how glitchy it is and how buggy it is, you know it's probably true because those people will show for anything and anyone who pays them. Um, so it wouldn't surprise me. Mary Power says, it's ma'am. Damn right. Damn right. Damn right. The Traveler says, this is where the Japanese need to be very careful on their guard. That Vice hit piece should have been their wake-up call. I agree. I agree. Tinkerton. I don't think I've ever seen you in the chat before. Tinkerton. I hope I said that right. Says, the bugs aren't exactly game-breaking. Yeah, kind of derpy, but there's a bunch of cool Pokemon. And I noticed how they buff, how buff they were in the game, and it had to do a double take. I was like, whoa, buff lady. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can you can see the Western influence just just in this picture alone. You can see 
the Western influence on, on these games. I mean, come on, bro. Come on. How many Asian women look like this? Seriously. I mean, really. Let's, let's just, let's just, how many Asian men look like this for that matter? <laughs> like, come on, bro. Stop. It says, of course, the games have not been without its fans. And in the West, a particular point of praise has been Scarlet and Violet's new diverse character designs. In a significant divergence from past entries, rather than NPC characters being shown as, on average, youthful and fit, some of Paldea's residents break this trend by being depicted as either extremely old or, in the case of some women, buff and muscular. Not only that, but the game has also removed skirt options for the player's personal avatars, instead relegating both the male and female options to wearing the same style of school uniform. Now, I know how much the Japanese love their skirts. I, I know how much they... I mean, if you look at any manga, or any anime for that matter, you take away the skirts. Those are fighting words, man. Those, those are fighting words. It says, however, while these Western fans have been quick to celebrate these changes up as a victory for representation, their reception has been significantly different in the game's native country. Which, like what we said. That's what we said earlier. They said they were going to go after the Western market at the end of the day. They said that they were going to do that. So it makes you wonder, right? It makes you wonder, why? Why are they doing this? Someone in the chat said it's for ESG scores. Sim Dahl said that. Could be true. It could be true. But why? They've done perfectly fine without that. Why do they think all of a sudden that they need the Western market to survive? Is it because of the cost of production, development? I don't know. It's just, it's weird. Julie says, when I hear the words diverse and representation, I immediately tune out. Well, you know, so I can't immediately tune out, obviously, because this is what I do. But when I hear those words, I immediately, my my eyebrows are raised, right? So, like, I immediately think the worst. And it's it sucks, because some of the stuff that you hear it from, you're actually really excited for. And then it's like, oh, okay, they're going to do the whole diversity, representation, inclusion nonsense, I guess. Tinkerton says the lack of clothing, uh, clothing options is disappointing. I agree. It is disappointing. The Coach MC Studio says the most sold comic books in the States are mangas. So the Japanese being concerned with sales seems to be a false alibi to indoctrinate instead of reinforcing their old culture. God damn, Coach. God damn, Coach. Coach is on point. What fucking kid looks like that? Bro? What kid looks like Arnold fucking Schwarzenegger? You know, you know what I mean? I, I don't know, bro. It's just, uh, it's just weird. It says, in Japan, players are not exactly happy with what the replacement of the series' regular NPCs with those they describe as ugly and old. <laughs> Further, since gender options were removed from Sword and Shield, Japanese Pokemon fans have speculated that the removal of skirt options indicates that developer Game Freak has chosen to sell their souls to political correctness in an effort to expand into overseas markets. And that's 100% true. That's 100% true. We know that's a fact. We know that's a fact. We know that that's exactly what they've done. Let's be real. They Game Game Freak is trying to dominate the the Western market, and it would not surprise me. And they don't do this all at once, okay? Let's just let's just put that out there. Whenever they start doing this woke nonsense, it's never like a full fledged on assault. It's always just a little bit here and there, a little bit here and there. You know what I mean? And eventually, over time, as people become desensitized to it, then they start sneaking in more and more and more until eventually you get what I'm saying until eventually the entire game, everything that you, that you've known, not just the game too, movies, entertainment, everything has been changed. They don't do the changes right away.